Hi, I'm Phil, and today we're going to talk about replacing the controller in MakeBlocks MBOT with a new controller called the BBC Microbit. So the original MBOT is getting ready. So MBOT is on the left, and on the right we have the um, BBC micro bit on a make block base bracket ready to replace the M core controller. And now we have the uh, BBC micro bit in place on MBOT. And uh, in this project, I'll review all the aspects involved from the costs. Some of the technical data for the motor controller card and uh, have a look at some of the software. This um, project requires the Kitronix Microbit motor card and uh, this would cost um, just under $18 in Australia and um, it's the component that's necessary to give ad adequate current for your um, BBC microbit. So th there's enough current now, and enough power to drive DC motors. So um, we can operate the motor car using a six volt battery pack, and it drives two motors, one on the left and one on the right. There's also um, four ports available. Two of these are copies of the A and the B button on the micro bit itself and the other two allow other sensors to be used with the robot. have to uh, bear in mind that the digital output drive even from this board with uh, these additional connectors is only 5 milliamps. So you can see the uh, Kitronic motor card and the connections are um, shown on the left, top and the bottom. And uh, the maximum current per motor is 1.5 amps, which is a significant increase compared to the original um, current output from the micro bit itself. This is a, a test program which allows you to connect um, a battery pack, two motors, the two motors are on the top left and here are uh, four push buttons which operate um, in the next slide some of the test software. So the, the key thing here, if you want to go forward, you have to um, have a logic high on pin 8 and a logic low on pin 12 for, motor, for the motor 1. Motor 2, pin 0 needs a logic high and pin 16 needs a logic low to go forward. And you can see the uh, state on the other bits. So the uh, program logic, uh, doesn't matter how you drive it, is uh, a combination of um, the pins for the motor 1 and for motor 2. So the original Kitronix um, buggy kit uh, includes a line follower and uh, these are the, the parts. So you can see the Kitronic motor card is a, uh, an essential part of this, but the other parts, uh, including the motor and the micro bit, are all shown here to construct this project. So uh, just looking at the uh, block diagram, on the top left we have um, my rangefinder, which is a, a replacement to the line finders. Everything else is the same. For the software, we're going to use Microsoft Online's editor, 
uh, for the BBC micro bit and uh, this allows us to use a blocky editor to create the uh, the code so what should it do uh, in the control the push buttons uh, should um, allow control on the micro bit and for a Bluetooth controller a bitty controller on a Android tablet will also control the robot or buggy in addition if the uh, buggy is too close to an object such as the wall it will use a infrared rangefinder and a bump switch to reverse direction the status of the motor whether it's stop forward backwards or going left or right will be shown on microbits LED panel so here are all the hardware that's necessary for this project the BBC microbit the Kitronics motor card uh, a seed grove IR rangefinder a mini breadboard uh, the components from MakeBlock itself and uh, most of these are from the MBOT kit some micro limit switches and a power supply provided by a battery pack some of the other aspects of the hardware are making sure that the DC motors have adequate performance this is a, uh, a popular motor and it's used in the original MBOT robot itself and can also be used uh, on this project so instead of a uh, the popular ultrasonics rangefinder I'm going to use a, uh, a sharp infrared rangefinder which is um, also available in the seed grove range interesting thing about this is it has while it does have unusual characteristics uh, that is the maximum voltage appears quite close to the sensor it has a uh, inverse non-linear uh, relationship between distance and voltage now for this project all you have to do is make sure that when the maximum voltage occurs then you uh, use that as an indication that it's uh, too close this particular sharp infrared rangefinder has a, uh, a range of 80 centimeters now, modifying the baseboard from MakeBlock you need to drill a few more holes to make sure that the micro bit and the uh, the baseboard can fit on the um, the baseboard so here we have it the BBC micro bit has now replaced the original controller uh, from make blocks MBOT and putting the robot on stilts allows all the motor control software to be tested uh, on the desktop here is the uh, the sharp IR rangefinder and it's placed at the front of the robot just underneath that are the micro switches the BBC micro bit on the make block base bracket and uh, for testing other sensors I've got a micro breadboard right next to the uh, micro bit controller itself now we'll have a look at some of the software RW09 is the name of my software and that comes from Kitronics's own published software for this kit uh, R is for robot and W is for war you also need an Android tablet running two apps one from Samsung and the other one that does the control of or the remote control uh, over Bluetooth of uh, the robot 
have a look at some of the JavaScript. The two main blocks here. The first one starts right at the beginning and shows the name of the uh, the program RW9, and also shows the state of the the motor. In this case, zero is for stop. On the right, there's a loop here that goes forever, and it detects both the distance from the uh, object in front of the IR rangefinder and also whether the uh, bump switch has been activated. If either of those have been activated then the motor goes into reverse at half speed. Uh, the push buttons on microbit, that's push button A and B, uh, some of the functions on that are shown. So to go forward, press button A, and it goes at full speed. And for full reverse, press button B. To stop the motors, you press the combination of A and B. And on each occasion, the status of the motor is shown on the microbit LEDs. The really interesting piece of the software is the event controller for the uh, bitty control and here if you press one of the buttons on the bitty controller it will um, go forward reverse left or right so if you press down it'll go forward and if you release your finger from the uh, Android tablet it will then uh, stop some of the software for Android. Uh, a key part of that software is uh, from Samsung and it uh, allows you to do two things. One is to um, pair the Android tablet with Microbit and the other one is to flash the software over the air uh, so you don't have to reconnect it with a, a USB to download uh, your Microbit software. A nice piece of software is the Biddy Controller app and on the bottom we can see the um, game control pads that are on the screen for the Android tablet. A little bit more about the pairing and uh, as long as you don't connect or power up your uh, BBC Microbit from your PC you can keep your pairing otherwise you'll um, destroy that pairing if you power the BBC Microbit from your PC. And the results? Well everything worked. Uh, the buttons on Microbit and also um, Biddy Controller controlling the buggy using the um, pads on, on Android and uh, over Bluetooth is able to uh, control the, uh, the motors going forward, backwards, left and right and also showing the status on the LED array. And uh, here are some of the results. Both the software and much of the hardware comes from Kittronic but we're also uh, using MBOT for the mechanical construction. This is the Microbit MBOT. So we're replacing the MCore controller with a BBC Microbit and a Kittronic motor card. So uh, if we just switch on, uh, plug in the battery. You can see that um, RW9 is the name of the program. On the status lights is the status of the motor. Zero means that the motor is off at the moment. And we go into bit controller. Scan on the Wi-Fi and we find our uh, computer 
uh, we find our robot and over here is the controls the wife the Bluetooth controls for the robot so you can see one indicates that it's going forward now, as soon as I press the button down it will reverse and uh, two indicates a reverse motion when I lift up my hand it stops it'll go right and left so this is the controls of MBOT microbit looking a bit closer to um, MBOT microbit we have a, uh, a sharp rangefinder which is using infrared um, scanning and this is connected to uh, P1 that's one of the inputs on microbit which is connected via the um, connector right on top here on the other side we have uh, micro switches and these can act as um, bumper switches so I've got one on either side and uh, these are connected to um, P2 as a digital input to um, the uh, micro bit. Another look at micro bit MBOT and uh, when we go forward you'll notice that the rangefinder will automatically change the direction so that it doesn't crash Same with the bump controller. Forward, reverse, left and right controls. Okay. Okay, that's it. Mm. Next